Elite Facts presents the most gruesome sports injuries ever. 26. Starting off with one of the most popularized sporting events in history, Mike Tyson decided he was hungry in the middle of his heavyweight fight with Evander Holyfield. He was hungry, he had a little nibble on his ear, and bit a chunk off. 25. Craig Peacock plays for the Belfast Giants ice hockey team, and in a game against the Fife Flyers, where he scored the Giants opening goal, he would later leave the game after taking a skate blade to his upper lip. The result? 29 stitches after dumping Bobby Chamont over the boards. 24. Tyrone Prothro's life was derailed against Florida in 2005, where he suffered a compound fracture in his lower left leg that is possibly one of the most gruesome injuries in recent football history. Since this career-ending injury, he's had a crazy 11 surgeries in 10 years on the same leg to try to right the wrongs of that day. 23. John Terry, Chelsea captain and thoroughbred Chelsea man, fell foul to an accidental kick to the jaw in a London Derby versus rivals Arsenal in 2006. The former England captain took a swinging boot from Abu Dhabi and he was left unconscious for 45 seconds afterwards. 22. Sean Livingston, point guard to the Golden State Warriors, sustained one of the most gruesome injuries anyone has ever witnessed in the NBA. In 2007, while playing for the LA Clippers against the Charlotte Bobcats, Livingston would go up for a layup, he would come down not knowing that he dislocated his patella tendon and tearing three out of the four major ligaments in his knee. It took him a year of rehab to recuperate. 21. Aaron Ramsey found himself on the end of a broken leg, courtesy of Ryan Shawcross on a rainy night in Stoke back in the late 2000s. It wasn't a malicious challenge, just badly timed, and the Welsh international suffered a nasty break that would take the best part of 12 months to recover from. 20. Danny Amendola dislocated his elbow in a game versus the Eagles. It was diagnosed as a triceps tear at a third degree level, which means a complete removal of the muscle from the bone. It looked like he might be close to returning in record time, but he re-injured his arm, tearing the triceps further to the point where surgery was now required, and he missed 12 months. 19. Chris Cooper was part of a 2006 draft team that saw unprecedented effectiveness. It was in the 2011 season, last game of the season where he suffered a devastating ankle break. From that point on, it would always be a struggle for Cooper to play, and he was forced to retire in 2014 because of the injury's effect to his game. 18. Morgan Miller, who is a professional volleyball player, got this gruesome wound while enjoying a round of golf with her world champion skier husband. Miller was struck above the left eye when her husband hit a line drive shot during the game. Luckily, she was wearing glasses, which protected her eye from more serious damage. A couple dozen stitches were required, and some serious groveling from Mr. Miller as well. 17. Renzo Gracie suffered a broken arm when his opponent Sakuraba snapped it with a Kimura. The match was a submission only, and Gracie refused to surrender even when he knew it would end in a broken arm. Either total man-machine or idiocy, you can be the judge. 16. Catchers are traditionally not big bunters. They lack the foot speed to really make it anything other than an automatic out. So when Jason Kendall tried to beat out a bunt in this 1999 game against the Brewers, things didn't end well. He dislocated his ankle, tearing pretty much every ligament. 15. Marcus Lattimore was a Heisman Trophy contender and a surefire high draft pick heading into the 2012 season but that all came to a screeching halt in an October home game against Tennessee. A hit to his right leg dislocated the star's knee, reportedly tearing his ACL, MCL, and PCL. 14. Bryce Flory nearly lost more than his baseball career at a game for the Red Sox at Fenway Park when a sizzling line drive off the bat of a Yankees outfielder struck him squarely in the right eye, shattering bones, temporarily disfiguring his face, and threatening his vision. 13. It was debated for a long time if this tackle was meant with intent or not, but regardless of that fact, it's horrific to see. The Arsenal striker would break his ankle for the first time, with a second to come later in his career versus Celtic, 
at the hands of Birmingham City defender Martin Taylor. 12. Terry Butcher suffered an extreme gash on his head in the middle of a game for his country in 1989. The defender and captain refused to be subbed off and played on, completely with still bleeding bandages and a soaked shirt. 11. Daryl Boyce, a rookie center for the Toronto Maple Leafs, went missing in the third period of a game versus the Carolina Hurricanes. It was only later on that night via Twitter that his absence was explained to all. Boyce was trying to check a Hurricanes player but missed and hit the glass. He cut it on the hole the cameraman's lens comes through to film. 10. For anyone who doubts for a second that hockey is one of the most gruesome of the major sports, think again. In 1986, board salming of the Toronto Maple Leafs fell and was accidentally sliced in the face by Gerard Gallant's skate blade. The injury required over 200 stitches to put Salming's mug back together. 9. Corey Hill threw a low kick to his opponent who checked it like it was nothing special. As he blocked the kick, Hill's shin bone seemed to snap in half, causing Hill to crumble to the mat by the time his broken leg returned to his fighting stance. Hill had fractured his tibia and fibula, and slightly less importantly, he had lost the fight due to the break. 8. This is an example of when soccer celebrations go wrong. Like many footballers, Paulo Diago celebrated a goal choosing to leap onto a fence to give the fans a close-up, but his wedding ring got stuck as he escaped, and so did his finger, ring still attached. His finger completely detached. That's one way to give a finger to the fans. 7. German footballer Eval Lyanen was attacked by the studs of his opponent Norbert Sigmund and this was his reward for it. A sliding tackle was all it took to open this 10-inch wound which required 23 stitches. Lyanen was livid, but instead of rolling around crying like some modern players we can think of, he started storming around the pitch in a rage. 6. It's no secret that Mick Foley was famous for his hardcore matches throughout his wrestling career. His various roles included Mankind, Cactus Jack, and Dude Love. It was in a match versus Big Van Vader that Foley decided he didn't need two ears after getting his head caught between the ropes. He pulled through and ripped his ear off in the process. The funniest part is that the ref picked it up and threw it to the ringside. 5. This was the moment that brought the end to long jumper Llewellyn Stark's career. A compound fracture during a jump was the culprit, the bone piercing through the athlete's skin in the process. 4. Janos Baranier found out the hard way at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing that 300 pounds plus is a really heavy thing to try to lift. As he attempted to hoist the bar, his elbow dislocated. The injury put him out of commission for two years, but he's active again and pushing for more Olympic glory. 3. Salim Sidiri has the most bizarre injury on this list. Taro Pitkamaki of Finland, one of the world's best at what he does, rumbled forward and released his javelin. It sailed far off target to the left, and nearly 80 meters away it landed in the back of the unsuspecting lawn jumper. Luckily he didn't suffer too many injuries and was back in action soon afterward. 2. Debril Sisi could be the most unlucky footballer in the world. In 2004 he was accidentally injured by opposition fullback Stephen Warnock and he broke his leg in two places. Amazingly, he was back on the pitch after just six months in rehab. The story doesn't end there, though. Just a year later, he was running in a friendly game when out of nowhere, his other leg broke in almost exactly the same place. There was no tackle or anybody near him. He recovered from both and continued his career. 1. Easily the most gruesome on this list and probably the nightmare of every person who steps onto an ice rink. Florida Panthers' Richard Zednick had his external carotid artery cut by a skate blade. Fortunately for Zednick, medical personnel were all over him as soon as it happened, and despite losing five units of blood, his life was never in danger. He missed the rest of the season, but came back strong the following year and continues to play today. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.